guys, I'm back with another multicolored 3D print video. In this video, I share the process of how I make colorful 3D printed jewelry. While working on this project, I was very inspired by the look and feel of candy, as well as kids jewelry. And while I share the catting portion of this video, I'd like to share a story of why I decided to make this jewelry in the first place. So I've been thinking about life and creativity. How we tend to lose our creative ability somewhat as we grow into adults. From the perspective of a child, playing, being creative and making things are synonymous. I've been thinking about how confident and playfully creative I used to be as a little girl. I was way less worried about not knowing how to do something or failing and more interested in having fun and learning. If I had access to 3D modeling software and a 3D printer back then, I would have gone ballistic, pushing my printer's capabilities to the limit, and let's face it, potentially setting the house on fire. So in order to try rekindling that confidence and playful creativity that I used to have as a child, I decided to start doing more projects that my younger self would have loved. And that's why I decided to make 90s inspired kid style jewelry. Once I was done 3D modeling all the parts, I started by adding pauses to the flower print using the Prusa Slicer color print feature and then printing the flowers and beads. Earlier I modelled holes into the tops of the flowers that I'm going to use for the earrings and necklace and then I inserted screw loops into those holes after the flowers finished printing. I assembled the earrings with a string of two beads between the flower and the hook but ended up scrapping this idea because it felt a bit busy. So instead I decided to attach the hooks directly to the loop screws. For the necklace I started making the vertical string of beads with the flower at the end. This hangs in the middle of the necklace. Then I fed a piece of nylon string through the top loop on the vertical string and added beads on either side. I tied the nylon ends on either side of the necklace to the loop screws and glued the screws to the beads at both ends. At this point I printed the flower centers. As you can see the PLA is stringing. This is probably because I've had this spool of PLA for quite some time and it's absorbed moisture. Because of this, people use various methods to take moisture out of their printing material. One of them that I've seen is using a food dehydration appliance. After the centers were finished printing, I glued them into each flower. I used a chain and a lobster claw clamp that I found from a broken bracelet to finish off my necklace. And can we please take a moment to appreciate the fact that this is called a lobster claw clamp. That's probably the cutest name I've ever heard for this. I 
I printed the ring and the platform that the flower was supposed to attach to in one piece, but it came out looking extremely stringy and brittle. So I separated the two sections and printed the ring part in a different orientation, which came out looking pretty good. I then stuck the platform to the ring section and then the flower on top of the platform section. I'm so happy with how this jewelry set came out and have already worn the necklace out in public. It looks so colorful and kind of reminds me of Skittles. I can't stop looking at it and low key wanting to eat it. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making this jewelry. That's it from me for now. Catch you guys in the next video. Bye!